This is a video demonstrating independent driving following the signs. There's also going to be some basic commentary on the driving as well. So we're going to pull away when we're ready. So a quick POM, prepare, observe, move. And we'll give a signal as there's a car approaching us from behind, but he's far enough away to not affect him. Okay, so to start with, we're going to follow the signs to all the shot. Okay, we've got some parked cars here, so centre mirror and right mirror, making sure that nobody's overtaking us and it's safe to proceed round. On the left, we can see the sign for order shot. It says there's two mini roundabouts. We're going right at the first one and straight ahead at the second one. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal. Our view to the right is very close. We're going to approach the roundabout very slowly in first gear so that we're ready for both situations, stopping and going. And we're keeping our head moving like a tennis match, looking for our gap. There's a gap after this silver car, possibly. So that's it, out we go. And we can see the roundabouts are very close together. Here's the second one. At the second mini roundabout, we're just going straight ahead, so no signal is required. And we can see there's a pedestrian crossing. Nobody's pressed the button as it's not glowing. The push button on the right is not glowing. And new road, new mirrors. Okay, now we're still following the signs to order shot. In, on your driving test, you keep following the signs to the same place until you're told otherwise. I've got a pedestrian and a car on the left, just quick centre mirror, just easing off the things of a pound coin so we can anticipate their actions. They're all behaving themselves, so they're not a problem. Again, oh, got a guy with an umbrella. Okay, just easing off. Okay, so here's the next sign. Now it tells us order shot is straight ahead, second exit. The sign is a little bit misleading, but it's definitely a straight ahead. So centre mirror, progressive braking. Staying over towards the left. It's not very wide, but it is a little bit. Nice early looking. We go on to the roundabout, staying left. Centre mirror, left mirror. Left signal to come off the roundabout. And new road, new mirrors. Okay, now we're going to follow the signs to Warpleston now. So we're going to look out for those. We can now see a pair of 40 signs. So just before we get to them, we're going to have a quick check in all three mirrors, just to make sure it's safe to make progress. If there was somebody overtaking us, then we probably wouldn't speed up until they've completed their manoeuvre around us. Okay, now as we drive along here, there are lots of signs to be looking at. We should be looking at these all the time. Sometimes they'll be very relevant signs, like this next one is a school sign. So we know that there's going to be vulnerable children around. So we're going to check our mirror so we know what's going on behind us. We're just looking out for this school in case there's a school trip. Again, other visual clues of what we might expect around the corner. There's quite a lot of bus stops along this road. So we might come around the corner to a bus in the bus stop. So again, we just constantly check in our mirror so we can act on all these situations if we come upon them. It's useful to know what's going on behind us if we need to slow down. Now, coming around the corner, there's starting to be some lampposts, which means there's more likelihood of pedestrians, and we can now see another junction in the distance. We can see the roundabout sign, but we can't read it yet, so quick centre mirror. Ease off the gas, I think, this of a pound coin to give us a bit more reaction time. Now the first sign doesn't have the word Warpleston on it, so it's not for us yet. The next sign, as we can read now, says Warpleston is right second exit. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal. Drifting over towards the right hand side so our position emphasises our signal. And again, nice early looking at the roundabout. And on to the roundabout. Now there's our first exit, so centre mirror, left mirror nice and early, left signal to come off the roundabout. Also looking deep into the road, there's quite a lot going on, so we're not going to accelerate too much. There's a couple of junctions, a college, and new road, new mirrors. And as we make our way into the road, we can now see it's safe to make a little bit more progress, so we can get up to the speed limit, which is still 40. Okay, we're going to follow the signs to Guildford now. So again, continuously looking for these direction signs, as well as all of the others. 
We also have a red van in the distance. We're following him at least four seconds back as it's wet today. He's driving a little bit slow, which might suggest that he's looking for where he's going, so he might do something erratic. So we're just giving him a little bit extra room for that. Okay, in the distance, we can now see a roundabout sign as we come into Warpleston. So we're looking for the directional sign for Guildford. There it is on the left. It tells us that it's right second exit. So centre mirror, right mirror, right signal. Okay, nice early looking to the right. This roundabout opens up quite nicely. We can see that it's busy, so we're going to gently stop at the line. We're going to check for Bob and Tom just before we move off. Now it's clear. And again, nice early mirror, centre mirror, left mirror, left signal to come off. And the road ahead looks nice and clear. So new road, new mirrors, making progress. Although the red van we were following is still up there and he's still driving a little bit slow so we're just going to give them plenty of room. Okay now we're going to keep following the signs to Guildford. As you can see there's a pair of national speed limit signs here so we're going to check to make sure it's safe to make progress. Okay now we can see the next sign so we're looking as far ahead as we can so we can read it. Uh, we can just about make out that it says follow the road ahead second exit for Guildford. In the distance we can see the roundabout. So centre mirror, just to make sure it's safe to ease off the gas nice and early. It gives us more thinking time. Gently progressively braking and looking to the right as early as possible. Now there is no junction on the right, it's just the one ahead. So the roundabout's looking clear. So gently onto the roundabout, staying left. And then nice early mirror, centre mirror, left mirror, left signal. Uh, roundabout was complete, so new road, new mirrors.